In Jacksonville, COVID-19 is pushing leaders to keep a tight rein on spending. And this includes the next fiscal year budget. Nine in your sites, Camila Barco continues our team coverage now with a look at what this means for people living in Jacksonville. It means the city of Jacksonville will keep its current tax rate and hold the line on expenses. The coronavirus is causing shops to close and people to limit their spending. That's not the best situation for the city of Jacksonville, which relies heavily on sales and property taxes. We do not know what the true impact on sales tax will be. City council members voted to keep taxes at their current levels because of the uncertainty surrounding COVID-19. They had already approved a $92.8 million city budget. We would have had a no tax increase budget anyway. The real question is, are we going to actually receive the level of sales tax funding that we have projected? Property owners will continue paying the same tax rate as last year, and the city will cut back on its spending. Some job positions will be kept vacant, and buying new equipment for emergency services or maintenance crews will be put on hold. On the other hand, water and sewer fees cover your water and sewer and your general utilities. Recreation is again covered by your property tax and sales tax. Council members will take another look at tax revenues this fall. They'll decide then whether to change their spending plans. As a shopper, you may pay the sales tax today, but the city government does not actually see that sales tax for four months. Jacksonville City Manager stresses people won't see any impact on the services they get. The $92.8 million budget approved in April will kick in on July 1st. In Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.